Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Gigan Gorgeous Stress Less Serum which contains 0.2% of beta-glucan which is from oat and they're using 0.3% of metacassocyte which is from Santella. So those are very hydrating and soothing ingredients which also basically refers to the name of the serum. It helps to lessen the stress of your skin and they do not really refer to a skin type. It can be used on all skin types but they're mainly talking about sensitive and irritated skin which may also be compromised skin or wetness prone skin so if this is your current like skin state then you can go ahead and add this serum to your routine to calm the skin and to build back your skin barrier so that it isn't as irritated anymore and this can be due to environmental damage or this can be due to specific treatments that you're currently using that are going to irritate the skin or give you like a compromised skin barrier such as for example retinol or retinoids like tretinoin. Those can irritate the skin, they can make the skin drier and you can experience irritation in the very like first weeks when being new to it. And so then you can go ahead and add this serum to your routine to reduce the likelihood of experiencing irritation and if it has already happened to calm the skin down. So those are just a few examples on how you can work with it. You can of course use this serum on its own or add it to your current existing skincare routine and it can be used along with any other other skincare products there aren't any issues just add it it's basically an hydrating calming and soothing serum which works with everything and so you can use it daily in the morning and or evening so the setup of my example morning and evening skincare routine is suitable if you have sensitive and slightly irritated or even retinous prone skin and so this can work it's a great example if that should be the concerns of yours however of course you can go ahead and basically switch to certain products to what you're currently using so that you still have the order of application and a general guide in mind you can find everything in the description box down below and at the same time just go over it with me now while I'm sharing it in the video. So we're going to get started with the morning skincare routine. So you can either go ahead and wash your face just with water if that's what you usually do because you do not want to irritate the skin any further go ahead and do so or use a gentle and suitable cleanser for your specific skin type that's also working well for sensitive skin. One example would be Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker Cleanser that's great for all skin types including sensitive skin. If you're using a different one, just exchange it. The step won't change. Wash your face, rinse it off, pat the skin dry. Then you can immediately move on to the next step. This is an optional step. You do not have to include it, but you can. The next step would be a hydrating and soothing toner. Again, an example would be Geek and Gorgeous Liquid Hydration Toner. It contains panthenol. It's very hydrating and soothing on the skin, so this can be a great addition. If you do not want to use a toner, skip it. Once you have applied your toner, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then you can immediately move on to any serums or treatments. So this is now the step where you would add the stressless serum to your routine. Apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then follow with sun protection. This can be a moisturizer that already contains SPF or regular sunscreen. Just make sure that it does not irritate your skin, like sting on the skin or give you redness. Make sure that you're using a sunscreen that's very calming and soothing on the skin, yet protects the skin from any sun damage or premature aging. So what's important to do with the sunscreen is first of all use enough product so that you can properly apply it all over your face and neck when being exposed to the sun and apply it 15 minutes before sun exposure. If you want to know more about how you can properly use your sunscreen and when you should use it I have an infographic for you in the description box down below. Then when it comes to an evening skincare routine the setup can look very similar, but you need to adjust it because it's your evening skincare routine. So you're going to skip the, uh, the sunscreen step, but you may need to adjust your cleansing step. So in the evening specifically, I recommend working with the cleanser as you may have worn like a sunscreen and or makeup that it does not easily remove from the skin. So using only water in this case won't be enough. So you would at least use a gentle cleanser that's working well for your skin to get everything off the skin or if you have like a mineral sunscreen or something that's a bit more stubborn to remove like waterproof or water resistant makeup use maybe or basically do a double cleansing method where you would use micellar water at first and then your gentle cleanser or use an oil or balm cleanser and then your gentle cleanser to 
to properly wash your face, rinse it off, pat the skin dry. And then again, the next step can be optional, which can be your hydrating and soothing toner. Then afterwards, if you want to work with an exfoliant, depending on your overall skin needs, you can go ahead and do so. One great example would be Geek and Gorgeous Calm Down Exfoliating Acid Toner. So it is suitable if you have like redness prone skin and it's very gentle on the skin and has some moisturizing properties as well. So this can work really well in combination with the Stressless Serum. Now with the hydrating and soothing toning step as well as your exfoliant, you can also do it the other way around. Since it has a very similar texture, see what works best for you. Apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then again, move on to your zone, which in this case would be the stressless zone. If you want to use additional products to this routine as well, layer basically from the thinnest to the thickest texture. That's the best guide that I can give you. Apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin. And then you can follow on with a moisturizer if you should feel the need. This of course depends on your overall skin type. So I have two examples right here from Niort or even Paula's Choice. Now in this specific case I would say that Niort's hydration vaccine is a great addition to this as well as it isn't like heavy on the skin, it isn't greasy on the skin and it just contains the needed ingredients so that your skin barrier can basically repair itself so that it can help you to strengthen the skin barrier so that it's not going to sit thickly on top of the skin surface. So this would be then also a great example that I can recommend. Apply your moisturizer to the skin, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And this would be an example of a morning as well as evening skin care routine. Now of course you can go ahead and everywhere where you see optional you can skip this step it's completely fine and you can even replace it with the products that you're currently using this won't change the order of application so if you want to read everything in your own time don't forget in the description box down below you will find a link click on it and you can either go over it in your own time or you can even download it and edit it so that you can add your specific products to this routine and still have a like, proper setup of how you can use your products so this will be a great addition as well now, I now want to get started with the entire application, so I'm going to keep my main focus on the serum. So the, like, the specific steps would be cleansing step, the serum, as well as then hydration if you should feel the need. Now, we are going to get started with the cleansing step. Again, if you're doing this in the morning, water can be alright, or work with a gentle cleanser. So again, I'm going to use Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker Cleanser. It's a great cleanser. Uh, suitable for all skin types. If you're using a different one, please make sure to read on the back of the packaging on how you should use your cleanser since directions can change depending on the cleanser that you're using. You can wash your face above the sink or take the cleanser with you in the shower. Either way is fine, just make sure that you can properly rinse it off when working with the cleanser. So in this example, I need to wet my face. So the first step that I'm now going to do is now wetting my face, neck and hands with lukewarm water to warm water. So let's go ahead and do this. Use about a coin size amount or one to two pumps on the palm of your hand. About that much, more or less. Rub your hands together and then gently massage a cleanse all over your face and neck. Please make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. If that's the case, rinse it with water. So, and once you have massaged your cleanser all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute, you now can go ahead and gently rinse it off from the skin. Now, you can do this by just using your hands or, as I already like to mention in other videos, use a soft and fresh washcloth in between, which you can wet and this can help you to remove the cleanser and or sunscreen as well as makeup better from the skin, especially in the evening. Then go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry.
So then once you're done with your cleansing step and you have pat the skin dry, you can immediately move on to the next step. Now the next step can already be the application of Heat and Gorgeous Stress Less Zone. However, if you do want to include in hydrating, soothing toner as well as next fall into the routine, you can go ahead and do so. Now I recommend using the hydrating and soothing toner at first and then follow with the exfoliant afterwards. This way the hydrating and soothing toner works like a barrier, so it's kind of like a buffing the exfoliant so that it isn't as harsh on the skin. Now keep in mind in my examples I have specifically picked Geek and Gorgeous Calm Down Exfoliant as it contains PHA plus BHA. So please do not use glycolic acid or lactic acid in this specific routine which are AHAs as this is going to irritate sensitive skin. This leads to stinging and burning therefore I specifically have picked Calm Down as my example as this can work well. Others are very irritating on the skin. And so when applying your hydrating and soothing toner to the skin, use about 10 drops uh, on the palm of your hand when applying it with your hands or use about a coin size amount on a cotton pad and then gently blend it all over your face and neck. Once you have applied it to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then you can move on to Geek and Gorgeous Stressless Serum. So use between four to six drops for your face and neck. You can also add a couple of drops more to it, but I recommend starting off with this specific guide and see how far you can blend it. If it's enough, go ahead and keep on going with this guide. If you feel like you want to add a couple of drops more, then go ahead and add it to it. Just make sure that you're going to use enough so that you can blend it properly all over your face face and neck but at the same time your skin should feel slightly damp but not wet and the product should be able to absorb into the skin. If it sits on the skin surface you have likely used too much product and I recommend using less of it. So you can use a few drops on the palm of your hand on your fingertips or immediately dispense it on your face and then start blending it all over. Please make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. If that's the case, rinse it immediately with water. So, and once you've applied it to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now, depending on your skin type, you can stop right here. You do not have to use a moisturizer afterwards. If this is going to be your morning skincare routine, you now would follow on with sun protection. But if this is going to be your evening skincare routine and you want to add a moisturizer to it, make sure that it's working well for your skin type and that it does not irritate your skin in any way nor clogs any pores. And so as already mentioned in my example routines, I have Neot's hydration vaccine or Polar's Choice Omega Plus Complex Moisturizer. So you can go ahead and of course replace it if you're working with a different moisturizer. Now I'm going to use Neot's Hydration Vaccine and then use about a bean size amount more or less to evenly apply it over your face and neck. So about that much, more or less, this can be adjusted. Just make sure that you're using enough. Use it on your fingertips and then gently blend it all over. Once you have applied your moisturizer all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And this would be an example setup of a skincare routine that can work well if you have sensitive or slightly irritated skin. And of course, again, you can always adjust it accordingly to your overall skin type and skin concerns. But this is how you can use Geek and Gorgeous Dress Less So. I do hope that you enjoyed it, that you find it helpful. If you did so, please don't forget to give a thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to know more about how you can properly apply certain skincare products and you want to see a proper application of how you can apply your sunscreen I have specific videos for you on my youtube channel and I'm going to leave some of them at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one happy skincaring bye